All right, man, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? Oh, baby. I was an Astros fan. Killer Bees, Biggio, Bagwell, Berkman, Clemens, Pettit, Roy Oswalt. Uh, I was just a fan of, like, the team, though. I loved everyone that came through there. All right, so being a pitcher, I do this course called Mount Rushmore. Okay. If you had to put four pitchers in your Mount Rushmore, who would they be? I'm glad you said four because I was thinking, how many is around the Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, Nolan Ryan, Roger Clemens, Pedro Martinez, oh, did I say Greg Maddox? Let's go Greg Maddox, but, and then, uh, honorable mention to Clayton Kershaw. He's my favorite, favorite, uh, in the game right now. I like that. So, I'm a gamer and I got to ask you this. The first time you saw yourself on MLB The Show, the video game, what did you think? Uh, I mean, I thought it was cool. Uh, I didn't get too caught up in, in my bad rating. Uh, I just thought it was cool. Um, and what's even cooler is when people can play as me and stuff. Like, I'll get people messaging me like, oh, man, I, I got you on the on the mound for Game 7 of the World Series tonight, and MLB The Show and stuff. That stuff's cool. I got to ask you, man, so growing up an Astros fan, but now being on the Yankees, which you know baseball, when you think of baseball, the Yankees, how is it to actually – play for the Yankees. I mean, that's yeah. that's different. It's like the Cowboys, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. In it's football. cool. It's cool. My dad was a Yankees fan growing up, um, so I watched a lot of the Yankees uh, as a kid, you know, obviously a lot of Jeter in the household and stuff, um, but it's cool. I mean, it's the best of the best. They treat you really well, um, you know, from ownership all the way down. They really, truly care about winning. I think it's like 20 or 30 straight winning seasons, so um, you show up every day. There's some urgency to win and prepare. Uh, and then, like, as far as staff goes and stuff, we have just all the resources. We're extremely spoiled. Uh, analytics department's great. Strength, training, the pitching coaches, the chefs, nutrition. Like, we get treated really well. All right, so let's just talk about this team real quick, the potential, man. I mean, obviously, you got yourself, guys like Nestor and that, and that and, and pitching out there. But this team, what do you see? Because the playoffs are around the corner. Obviously, this is the last stretch of the season for you guys. But the playoffs yeah. are coming. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, we're getting healthy, which is nice. Um, you know, as far as the lineup goes, we've got a lot of experience, a lot of veteran players. You get DJ back and healthy. You got Bader in center field. You got the best player in baseball and Judge right now. Uh, if John Carlos hot in the postseason, he's a guy that could, like, literally put us on his back and carry us. Um, so offensively, a lot of experience. Starting staff, we just do a good job of keeping our team in games. And we have, like, Nestor, Seve, and Garrett with, like, true ace potential where they can take over games. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I like us all the way through. We have a lot of depth, and I think that plays in the postseason. All right, a few more questions. So, favorite baseball movie? Ooh. Uh, Major League is one that, like, when it's on, I'm going to watch every time. The Sandlot growing up was my favorite, though. Okay, so let's just say they did a Major League 2025. And let's just say somehow some reason schedules didn't work out. You couldn't be in the movie, but they're going to have you in the movie. You got to get an actor to play you. Who's going to play you? <laughs> Uh, what's the guy? I get I get a lot of a lot of comps to uh, the guy from I Love You Man and Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Jason Segal, I think it is. I get that one a lot, so I'll, I'll let him play me. Okay. okay. Last question. So you know now everybody's doing things with walk-up music and different things like that. So I got to ask you, the song is named after you. Any artist performs a song. Who would you want to perform the song for you? And it's named after you. It's your self-titled song, and it's your walk-up song to the mound. That's a really good question. Right now, my walkout's by Led Zeppelin. I, I like having something that like everyone can enjoy. Um, you know, it's not just about me. I want the vibes of the park to be good. Who have I been listening to a lot lately? That would be cool. Oh man. You know what? I'm gonna go with Kygo. Like a little DJ, upbeat, tropical house vibe. I like that. I like that. All right, last question. So you talked about Aaron Judge, man, and this has been a historic season. Beyond the home runs, man, let's talk about the MVP because obviously there's always talk with him, and there's a guy <laughs> that you probably had to face, Shohei yeah. Otani. Yeah. I Just need you to give me the good. Yeah. <laughs> I got to give me your best pitch of why Aaron Judge should be the MVP. Yeah. Okay, well, first off, Shohei, the guy's a unicorn. I don't even understand what he's doing, how he's doing it. Like, I see stats on Twitter and stuff. That they just keep getting more and more crazy. Uh, but I had someone the other day basically say, like, dude, at the, at the dish, he's like Matt Olson, and on the mound, he's like Luis Castillo or something. And I'm like, man, that's, I mean, two amazing players. I don't even know where he gets the time to do the meetings for hitters, pitchers, workouts. Like, what does he do? Um, but the, the year that Judge he's having is special. It's historical. In a time where offense is going down, he's going up. He's separating himself from the pack. Um, and not to mention, you know, we're the Yankees. I feel like we get everyone's best shot on every night. Um, and he's Aaron Judge. He's number 99 in pinstripes. I feel like when guys come to Yankee Stadium, if they throw 92 miles an hour when they face Aaron Judge, they throw 95. So he's getting everyone's best shot. 
and he's been doing it all year. So that's my pitch. All right, man. Jason, man, keep doing your thing, and hopefully by this time next year we talking about that World Series ring you got, man. Appreciate you now. <laughs>